door does it even close? Here we go, Gary. It's like the Mosin, man. It's got a bolt action. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh no, oh, man! <laughs> so you gotta be careful because this is gonna be the part where rats hurt because you gotta go. The water's gotta go down through. without even having to go in there. Jesus. That's fucked. The floor is all, uh, it's, it's like dropped. It's not like rolling like normal hardwood wood. Can you get swept? There's so much goddamn broken glass. Well, I mean, it's open at the end. Probably skip the balcony. I mean, they even took the door handles and shit to screw up them. Yeah, there's really nothing, uh, nothing I'm talking about here. I'm not going in there. There's white shit all over that room. <laughs> yeah, as long as you can just do it all right. It's like uh, some people are sleeping. One? Well, I say we go back around the other way because uh, I don't feel like stepping on so much shit. You don't want to pop in. Uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see, and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created evict the bad motherfuckers get good motherfuckers in there damn dude i just realized this was the door we were fucking with to get in too i haven't seen any come out for a little bit you might be okay I really hope I caught that on camera. You walking through the doorway with your head down. I mean, I don't like this taking, is on. I don't like taking bugs home on a Monday, but on a fucking Friday. Gotta go home and Gary's gotta get laid. Stuff doesn't smell very good. It's probably very hazardous for my health. Like, barely kills these things. And they live everything. Survive everything. Can't even speak right. I'm fucking dying. Brain's shutting down. Oh yeah, fuck that. Oh, it's not good. Uh... Sorry, John. I'm not opening that. Got this fucking murder spray on my hands still.
thinking, man. I don't think that stuff can be uh, very good for you. What? <laughs> the spray. Why is that? I mean, if it like, there's not many things that kill cockroaches. Yeah, they and if that thing kills cockroaches, and we're breathing down it in. Old motor skills, like they start fucking getting all shaky and twitchy. And I know. There's just a pile of them in front of that door there. One switch. Okay. Pause it. Damn, John would be loving this action. They have it right down as a 50 caliber. Caliber, that's, uh, that's pretty intense. Tell you what, you shouldn't be sitting, if you have one of these, I don't think you can actually stand and shoot it. <laughs> no, no, probably not. Unless try you do, to, like, one. You probably really shouldn't carry outside. It, it, it's not magic. Like, yeah, buku bucks can be made, but you better prepare yourself and you better have the right expectations set. Uh, or you absolutely will lose money because you can lose money. And I've seen a lot of people lose money, right? You know, in fact, uh, what you call it? majority of the evictions uh, that you guys see that we do, that's another comment we get that fucking starts to get annoying after a while. You get all these motherfuckers like... Here we go, Gary. It's like the Mosin, man. It's got a bolt action. Doesn't really go back that far. Dang, this kid had a fucking fake killer knife too. Another scope. Broken ass shotgun. I picked this up because I thought it was a real one. Look, I thought this was a real knife. Why? This is where all the roaches and shit. No, I just wanna sneak outside real quick. That's probably where they were hiding. I sprayed a shit fucking spray. There's a guy running around. There's another guy running around. Put some gloves on, that's a good idea. What's up with Holden Wise? They must be the worst landlords in the world if they're evicting all these people. Well, number one, it's a $75 million real estate portfolio, pal. So when you got $75 million worth of real estate in a place like Cleveland where houses can be bought for like 30, 40 grand, that's a lot of fucking properties. It's a numbers game, right? Talk to Walmart. How many upset customers do they have? Talk to AT&T. How many upset customers do they have? So just by the number, sure scale, you're going to get your complaints, number one. But number two, uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and had a really hard time managing the investment, running the investment, because it is hard. It is not just free, easy mailbox money. And they contacted us to either... Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, no! Oh, man! They're just crawling out of the top. It's so gross. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just felt this stuff drip on me and I got scared.
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, they're just falling out. It's so nasty. Fuck you. Mutant motherfuckers. They have bed bug spray. They don't not care about the fucking cockroaches living in the door frames. Oh, that just gave me a, a whole new fear of opening these cabinets. Stop! Oh god, that's so nasty. Oh. I wanted to get a picture from the porch of all the trash. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be a good shot, but, uh... It probably would be a good shot, whether it's worth the risk. Before I leave here, I'm going to douse the bottom of my shoes with that stuff you got right there. Yeah. So I don't want, if you, like, step on these guys and you get, like, their eggs on your feet or whatever, you can take them home. Ugh. Yeah, that's the... That's the gold shot. And they contacted us to either help them take over their existing investment, and we gotta go in and we gotta clean up the problems that they created, evict the bad motherfuckers, get good motherfuckers in there, or they're just so over it and they're so done with the stress and the, and the trauma and, and, and just the, the bullshit that they're just like, hey, Holton Wise, this is where we're at, this is our property, this is what's going on just get rid of it like get it away from our lives it is not worth the stress that this particular property is putting on our lives and, and we take over properties that way right so like you know the properties where we actually screen the tenants and, and place the tenants into these properties the eviction rate is like a tenth uh, of what you see on tenants that we inherit through one of those two scenarios Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.